We're here at Zero Maria Cornejo, and Maria's clothes are very modern. She definitely does her own thing. So in the collection is trying to focus on things that are more luxurious and all the fabrics are made, you know, exclusively. So I'm just trying to make people appreciate the craftsmanship be behind the clothes. I know at the makeup test you told me that, you know, there's a lot that was covered up really high and you wanted the girls to look really fresh. What was, what inspired you to kind of come up with the freshness? I thought it would be lovely if the girls looked like they just came out from the cold or something so they're, they're a little bit pinky in the cheeks, about their eyes are glowing, almost like children coming in from the snow. The look today is really graphic. It's a bit, of, a bit minimal, very fresh. Um, there's definitely this beautiful blue that's in the collection. Um, so we wanted to take, do a little play on the blue and close our eyes. So the blue is kind of this straight line, and we made it a little bit blocky. And the cheek is these two amazing um, cream glows called Mystere and Patrice, and these are gorgeous. This is new packaging, new formulations from Kevin Aquan. As a woman, you could throw this in your purse and use this on your lips and use a little on your cheeks, and it's just a great, it has a mirror, it's like just a great, um, beautiful textured cream blush. So we wanted to go for this kind of winter, fresh winter, dewy, flushed face. You know, we use a combination of you know, either his sensual skin enhancer or airbrush foundation or tinted balm. Depending on their skin, Aline has gorgeous skin, so we really just use a little bit of concealer around the redness, like where she needed it. And we prep the skin with Joanna Vargas's rejuvenating serum. Again, I can't say enough about that serum. I don't even think that my face would move without the serum. It's so dry in New York right now, and it just makes my skin elastic and supple, and it does the same for the girls. The lips we left natural. Um, it, according to the girls, the girls that had a darker lips we used a little bit of the medium pencil from Kevin just to tone down the redness. Um, but as you can see, Alina has beautiful, pale lips, so we've left them alone. Are really are really interesting. Yes. It's a color called Pretty Vaca, which is actually a matte textured gray. Originally we wanted to do silver, but then going through the collection we figured that that actually suited everything and it was so great because it's actually textured. You can feel the texture. Yeah, so it's almost like stucco. It's really cool. Yeah. The great thing right now is not only is color in, but texture is also in. People are playing with different dimensions. Um, smooth, incredibly smooth silks, but even really this grainy texture that's uneven. And it allows people to play in the nail art space. We don't know how to do nail art. This comes out of the bottle with that texture. So don't be fooled by it. You don't have to learn how to do anything special. If you can apply polish, you can apply this. And the hair was is really beautiful, kind of graphic and simple. Yeah, Martin Cullen's doing the hair. He's doing these beautiful partings. And basically what we wanted today was the hair. It was We wanted something really simple. There's lots of layering, there's lots of high colors, and things like that. So we didn't want anything too fancy that was going to get in the way or, you know, disturb. So what we decided was a ponytail would be too boring, just a normal ponytail. So what we've gone for is a very strong part which you can see on this beautiful young lady here, just to give us something very graphic and very, very strong impact-wise. Um, as far as products are concerned, what we've done is just use something to blow dry with, Vito Volume Active. We've used the straightening irons to, just to give it control, take some of the body away and just give it, not straighten it, straighten it so it's got nothing left, but just to, to take any static and, and frizzy bits away, and, but still keep some volume and body to it, okay? So just over the surface. T3 straightening irons, yes, which are really good. I mean, they heat up so quickly, it's unbelievable. And we're just going to use the finger at least just to give it some nice shine and, and control afterwards, okay? Just to get rid of any little statics, just to give, so that will really pick up in the light when we go out there, and it's just going to make it really, really shine, really, really, almost like it's got a, a glass finish to it.